Hello, hello. So we decided to do something a little different today, y'all. What is going on? We are here for day five of the Perkins Tice Heads Up Battle. I'm Ebony Kenny, and I am joined today by Scott Mos Moskowitz. Did Hi. I pronounce it correct? Amazingly, yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> that you, you are you are in rarefied air getting that one right. First shot out of the box. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, they are started. Okay, yeah, let's go. go. <laughs> now, just to clarify, this is a uh, a no limp game. There, there, there shall be no limping in. So you must open for a min raise. And that, you know, we'll, we'll basically turn this into what, a 200, 400, 800. Yeah, it's, uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, so if, if this is your first time here, or first time hearing about the match, if you came here for the ACR show, but you're gonna stay here for the action, you're in the right place because these two have decided to play 20,000 hands. So far, we have the total hands you'll see on the screen, 1,681 hands and Perkins is down 54,000. Uh, Landon did give Perkins a nine big blind uh, advantage. So he's starting out with a $720,000 deficit, nine big blind per hand. So. And they don't get they don't let it get too deep stacked, right? Is it what if anyone gets to one twenty, we reset? Is that's the yeah. that's when the they get threshold. to exactly that when they get to three hundred big blinds, they reset. So yeah, uh, and we are this uh, just a little fun, uh, you know, insider. Uh, Ebony is calling this from uh, Toronto, Canada. Or I'm sorry, wait, no, Toronto. I'm not supposed to pronounce the second T, right? Toronto. <laughs> I've been told, uh, and I'm here in uh, North Idaho near Coeur d'Alene. So we're. Actually, North we're not that Idaho. far. Yeah, we're not that far apart. Actually, I was going to be like oh, around the globe, but not really. Kind of close. <laughs> All right, so we do have a pot brewing on the left hand side, right out of the gates. They're like three or four hands in, and we got thirteen k in the middle already. So let's see. We are picking up action. The turn gets checked. Now, obviously, the avatar um, that Landon is playing with is is his likeness. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill is obviously that's definitely him and if you guys can't see on the left hand side we do let you know uh gas trader is Bill Bill takes it down that pot with pocket eats and then absolute go is Landon Landon's in a ton of Ryan's vlogs yeah it makes sense do it where's where's he based out of is he in Vegas Ryan, uh no, not, Ryan's New York right I think yeah Landon. New York and Vegas oh Landon Vegas yeah. Okay, Vegas, yeah, makes sense. Just how international are we today? Where are Perkins and Tice each playing for from? Um, Bill could literally be playing anywhere in the world. <laughs> so we don't know. Uh, I assume that Landon's playing from Vegas. I think I heard that uh, Perkins was on his yacht in the Black Sea. <laughs> what a Satellite life. internet. Playing high stakes, heads up, clicking buttons. Landon is in Vegas, but travels for big tournaments. Yeah, right on. Thank you, Crazy Kmo. All right, we've hit the turn. We got a, a, a couple big pots developing here. Almost 10K between the tables at this exact moment. Ooh, and a quick call here on the turn from Bill. Uh, yeah, this is Bill. interesting. Bill's just electing to check call. He check called a 660 bet on the flop and then a $2,100 bet on the turn. So we'll see what he, he checked again. So this will be interesting. Two big bets back to back here from Landon. About a two thirds pot bet here on the river and Bill guessing with this, how quick his call was on the turn. Ace X, not terrific? Or would we have already seen a river call look him up? That river card is, if you have something that, oh, a Ooh. raise, I didn't expect that, whoa. Big raise. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find out if Landon is serious or if he was just yoking around. He was. And he and does take take it down. It. I get that whole, I've actually had somebody in a cash game tell me to fold when I like bet. I had the second nuts on the river and oh. I bet and he raised all in and he was like, I have the nuts, just fold. And like, and he was like the nicest little old man. And he was like, just fold. I don't want to take your money. And I folded in a spot that like no one would ever fold. And then he showed his hand. He had the nuts and he gave me my river bet back. 
<laughs> like, oh come on are you serious that was at uh that was at the venetian in uh playing two five yeah like <laughs> so uh, i have had some things for sure happen that are just outrageous now when he well i have a question about that river bet but in the meantime there's uh over 10k in the middle here on the uh, table on the left And we'll see if Perkins wants to make a turn bet here as the board pairs jacks. He does not. It goes check, check. River is kind of a brick. I would expect to see a bet here from Landon more often than not. Indeed, we have a little over, almost like about a two-third pot bet. Seven into ten and change. Gosh, I am loving this. It feels like Bill is in a different gear this session. Wow. This is like the fourth or fifth time we've seen him raise River already, and he's racing huge. The uh, Now, if he has the jack there, the, tur the uh, check behind on the turn makes him that River bet from Landon, then goes for value and doesn't get it. If he is somehow bluff, I don't really know what he would be bluffing with, but... Some aggression from Perkins pays off. I also did hear uh, that, you know, because of course you can change uh, your view between big blinds and actual money. So sometimes, the, you know, that might be a factor if they have it set to blinds and, you know, mm -hmm. according to them, they're making a four big blind bet, but a, you know, on, on the cash side, it looks wonky. That, that could be a reason why. Like, I think I saw a, uh, like a, basically an all in from Bill on it from a previous stream. Uh, and it, he like left himself a dollar and some dollar. Oh, he's done that cents. so many times in this in this match already. Yeah, I think I I do believe that is the reason. I personally think he's leaving that dollar behind so he can just be like, I'm just gonna mess with you mentally. <laughs> <laughs> that is also an option. That that could be. So Bill's lead for this session is uh, cut down to 9K. It was up to, I believe it was up to 26K at one point um, for this session only, and it is down to 9K. But I, I think that the total challenge, what you're seeing, uh, that number is getting updated when the session hands get updated. Ah, see, I just answered your question, Dutchman, right when you asked. <laughs> That's why they keep changing because they are being updated in real time. Yeah. Oh, here's a replay. Yeah, the, because uh, this was a uh, a river uh, check call, and I suspected that Bill had a worse ace, and it was just a little bit of a cooler, good value bet uh, from Landon. We're going to find out here momentarily. So we got the three bets from Landon. Call from Bill, and we make an ace high board here. Pretty good flop for uh, Landon, obviously. And did it go check check on the flop? It did go check, check. Oh, okay. And then a, another check on the turn from Landon. And this time, Bill checks again. Board pairs queens on the river. And Landon has got to be confident with his hand. And now Bill fires when check two on the river. Oh, wait. Oh, so it was Landon that check called. Okay. And I, that, so Bill did have a worse ace. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. what I thought. I thought it was a, uh, a value bet from, from Bill. And, I uh, think was, that's the thing is I think he was value betting. Oh, for sure he will, of course. Yeah. You know, both streets go check, check, and we get all the way to the river. And, yeah, uh, and it, and it pairs, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's uh, just kind of unlucky for Bill. I mean, how in the world do you bet that river and you get called by a better ace? Yikes. Um, hey, I mean, that that that, that pot could have for sure had more money in it just because uh, of the nature of their, of their hands. But both of them were playing it coyly because they figured they had the board locked. Yeah, I think that, I wonder if Landon would it would be able to get two streets and if he was able to get two streets, like if it's the same amount of money as Bill's river bet. Yeah, so. yeah, probably. Because I mean, I guess if money goes in on flop and turn, A6 isn't feeling so hot by the river, especially with the board paired queens. But interesting coy play by both of these players. Mm -hmm. Here's a 9K bet and a quick call from Bill and the queen high straight from Landon is going to take that one down. That seems to me like a two pair hand, you know, that's a pretty quick call from Bill. Um, 
you know, maybe another cooler there if he's got a, like a good two pair. Ooh, look, here's a, uh, a nice hefty 10K. Pop it up from the button from Bill here. And Landon wants to play a big pot. Let's go, king high board. Quick open check from Landon and what's Bill gonna do now? Small bet, quarter pot bet here from Bill. Is he testing the waters or does he have ace king and love the flop? And a call from Landon, kind of a, well, seven, eight got there, but not much else. Another check from Landon. And Bill has less than a pot size bet here. He checks back, huh? Jack of freaking pumpkins on the river and Landon might could lead out here. Put Bill to the test, wouldn't surprise me at all. Straight draw for Bill, he hit. <laughs> Pharaoh, I love it. Oh, and Landon does jam here. What's the, so if you're Bill here in this spot, what's the worst hand you're calling with right now? He snap folds. Um, yeah, man. I mean, the worst hand. Like, are you going to call with Jack 10 there? You river Jack? I don't even know how he got to that point with Jack 10, but like, no, I don't think I'm calling well, Jack 10. I mean, you can get, you can get to that point with Jack 10. If you raise sure. free, you have, you flop a gutty, you're going to continue, but you don't pick up any equity on the turn. You just check back. I think Jack 10 is a, is a hand. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Fair enough. True. Uh, I don't think I would call with a, with a Jack. No. Um, not the face card I would have been looking for. Uh, the worst hand, I mean, like, I mean, how do we even feel with like King middle, you know, like King 10, do we like that? Are we calling? I think, I think King 10 is sexy. I think King 10, you, you block the straight, you have top pair, you did a little, yeah. I yeah. don't know. I think King 10 is a call there. Yeah, and we're just gonna try to catch Landon with his hand in the cookie jar there, trying to try yeah. to gloss off it. Yeah, that's probably where I would, I would probably not call with worse than King Ten. That's kind of my range. All right, where are you at? Man, I don't know. I think I think I don't know. I think maybe Jack Ten might be might sometimes be a call. Just you uh, just, just don't think Landon's jamming there with a with a with a naked king. Like in other words, you're beating what with a jack? Yeah, beating like Landon could be turning all of his other pairs into bluffs. You know, like his his nine eights, his combos that like turned uh, straight draws. Um, yeah, because he he just check called. Yeah. No, can we get it? Can can we get a replay? Well, we, the the thing is, Ebony, we won't know the 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 cards because um, Bill didn't call River. So, yeah, but we can we can see we can oh, see what, what Landon oh, yeah. did. Yeah, true that. All right, true that. We do have a fifty five dollar forty thousand dollar tournament. It's only on ACR. Uh, Night of Light. Um, yeah, it's only on ACR considering that we are on America's Card Room. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. I I hate to troll, but I love to troll those super obvious comments. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Can I play on clownpoker.net with this? <laughs> nah, man, sorry. They don't want the 10K top prize from that one. Let's get them the info so they can just transfer that to you. Yeah, perfect. How about this, y'all? Uh, if you don't want to play the $55 tournament, or if you don't want the $55 ticket, you can just win it, um, play the tournament and give me the money. And then I'll pay you for your time. Like whatever you're like, if you have a job and you make $15 an hour, if you win the tournament, I'll exchange the $15 an hour in exchange for the monies that you win. $5,525K on Sundays. Come on, y'all. Come on. So we have a big pot brewing here. 29,000 oh, yeah. in the middle, coming to the turn. Bill has an SPR of one year. And this track. Eight doesn't mean nothing, it doesn't look like here. I'm guessing we're gonna see a bet from Landon. And we don't, wrong. Okay, the, the hearts do come in here on the river. After the uh, check check on the turn, Bill's got a pot size bet left. 
He's we gonna will check do it the over. giveaway after this hand. Landon taking it down with the ace high. Da Sean Wall, let's go. Yeah. Congratulations. Congrats, Sean Wall. <laughs> No way. way. Uh -huh. No way. Me? Yeah, you, dude. And uh, Ghost of M, uncharacteristically slow on the uptake. Three messages after Sean Wall goes, me? Ghost is like, is Sean here? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> All right, picking up the action on the right-hand side. We got a bet from Bill. $2,300 bet on a 9-3-3. Club club board and the turn brings the jack of spades after Landon calls Bill's bet. So now we got a double flush draw board. <laughs> Cut ghost some slack. He's got a ton like 17 different jobs going right now. Yeah, but how is that different than normal train? Ghost has uh ghost is the octopus of Twitch Mons. He's got so many arms and monitors and he's a he's a wizard, dude. You know, listen, the bar is high, okay? So Bill does jam here, leave, leaving 52 cents behind. Okay, so now if you're Landon, what's what's the worst hand you're calling here? I mean, do we call with a nine? <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. Not too bad. Also, of course, heads up, everything everything changes. My opinions are mostly based on A, not being that good, and B, playing in full ring games uh, where ace-queen tends to get you in, into trouble a, a fair amount of the time. That's so why I'm just like a four bed fold type of person with the East Queen. Yeah. Yeah, that that's fair. Like, you know, go nuts with it until your opponent makes it clear they have two kings, and then you're like, all right, fine. Yeah. Uh, now, the real question is, what kind of coffee will Ebony be bringing back? Is it drip pot coffee? Just like an old, you know, uh, Mr. Coffee? Is it uh, a latte? Does she have an espresso maker? These are the important questions we ask here on today's ACR stream. And uh, there's just a five there for Bill, gonna get it done. Uh, Kiwi Casey, you're voting for iced coffee. That's a good guess. A good guess. She's got, actually, you know what? You, you, you're you probably right. She was remarking before we went live that it is, it's quite hot uh, there in Toronto and her place is sorely lacking in central air conditioning. So iced coffee is a good bet. Big pot here brewing on the uh, right side table. Ace high rainbow board. And there's a Jimmy Jam from Landon. And what's Bill going to do? Uh, overbet. 2x overbet. From Landon. Come get some. Oh, man. What a spot for Bill here. Oh, what do we think Bill's doing? I mean, well, he's folding here. Oh, brother. Man. I wonder if that's like a, uh, you know, sort of a safe face fold or if he, you know, had a tough call, tough decision. Is he, is he folding any ace there? Man, woo! Whoever, I forget who had said uh, they were going to lose their crush on you. I assured them they would not, but they said they were going to lose their crush on you if you uh, turned out to be a pod girl. So rest assured, Ebony, they still have a crush on you. Perfect. Relief. <laughs> yeah. Sweet relief. Why would you weigh your coffee? Yeah, cause, so imagine like, have you ever had like a weak cup of coffee where it's too watery or something that's too strong? It's uh, you you decide, you kind of figure out exactly what you like and then you're, you're able to weigh it and it's the same every single day. Uh, so yeah. A little quarter pot bet here from Bill. Another one of them out of position check raises incoming potentially from Landon. Indeed. And it's going to work. Landon takes it down. It's coming up on 300 hands so far in this session. How do I grind my beans? I use a coffee grinder, not a weed grinder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I use a ceramic conical burr. I am for the true bourgeois. I am. That's me. I have a conical burr grinder. Yeah. So there was one time, so I had a coffee grinds in a mason jar and they literally um, opened my coffee grinds, pour, pour the, poured them out to test to see if they were, if uh, they were questionable. 
so. That was it though? That was the extent of the uh, probing? I mean, I've, I've gotten, I've gotten, I could go down the, the rabbit hole. I've gotten pulled out of security, the security line so much at the air, at airports. It's a joke now. My bag always gets randomly searched. Oh, I've gotten yes, the TSA handle. search thing, you know, in my suitcase. I get it about 80% of the time that I fly. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Oh, and here's we a raise here. From, check from raise. Yeah. This pot this is, is an interesting cool. size here. This is a and, four bet pot pre, so. An interesting size in that it's smaller than you would think or larger than you would think? I mean, so this is, so this board, uh, when you, when it's a four bet pot pre, you're probably, um, you can size up a little bit. So Bill using the quarter pot bet, a little over quarter pot bet. Oh my goodness. This will be interesting here. Wow. Bill says I'm yeah. going with it. The 16K seems a little smaller to me than I would think. It's like a 2.5X raise. Um, and yeah, Bill's now at 100,000. My, how the tides have turned. The tables have turned. The tides have changed. Jeez the, Louise. The turntables <laughs> have tided. Uh, so I'm sorry. What can you start over on that hand? Sorry, Trine. What was that? I didn't so see it. Bill, uh, thank you. I think land. Yeah, Landon made it a thousand. Bill okay. called, and they okay. saw the flop. Yep. And uh, Bill flops backdoor flush and nothing else, or backdoor back straight. Backdor straight. Yeah, 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 yeah backdoor yeah. straight. Backdoor flush. So and that's good enough feel. for call. Yep. Turns the club draw. Mm-hmm. Another bet from Landon and uh Yeah, and I think the only thing he has call. to do here is just check call. Sure. And then he he gets there and then open checks again. Um figures Landon is gonna have to bluff if he wants to win, or he just has a queen and Bill's got him anyway. And that opens the door for the check raise. And Landon did call him off, so he must have had the queen. Yeah, yeah. wow. I, queen, yeah. yeah, man, cooler for Landon. Bill's on the good end of that one. You know what, uh, Stosi, if you really want Ebony to be uh, like, you know, into the stakes you're playing, perhaps you should play with coffee beans. Stacks of, so, you know, piles of coffee beans. Man, you want to see Ebony sweat over a decision. <laughs> How much would we hate our lives? <laughs> Listen, if we were playing for coffee, shoes, or reusable paper towels i'm in there bamboo paper towels <laughs> i think isn't that just called a towel <laughs> reusable paper towels have you ever seen that show extreme cheapskates oh my gosh what are you gonna tell me do they reuse paper towels like yeah absolutely paper towels? Yeah, they, yes they they literally have clothes lines set up in their house with uh like you know clip clip whatever they call those clothes uh, clips Mm -hmm. And they hang they hang up their used paper towels to dry like old laundry. So are they using reusable paper towels or regular paper towels? Un unclear. I think just regular. Because I I actually do something pretty similar with my bamboo paper towels. <laughs> okay, so cool. We got a big pot brewing on the yes, left here. Yeah. The river did bring a flush. It also paired the board. There's 28k in there. And it's gonna go check, check. We're gonna see the cards here. And uh, Landon flopped himself a wheel. And it's good, I'm guessing, to, for it to get that far and that built up. Perkins might have had an ace there. Well, it looks like we have reached the end of the line, right guys, for today's stream. Uh, these players have uh, clocked out and gotten yeah, up. Yeah, that is the, the end of the session. So they are slowing down a little bit. They got 362 hands in the session. Bill did have a small, a small uh, losing session. Um, minus 30K on this session. Uh, but overall, they've played 2,043 hands. Perkins is down 85,000. That does not include the nine big blinds per hundred that they have on the outside or at the end of the bet. That will be added on uh, retroactively when they have played their 20,000 hands. And we will see y'all the next time uh, The next time they decide to play. We don't know when it is. We are at the mercy of Bill and Landon. So thanks again, y'all, and have a fantastic Wednesday.
Bye.